Hello, my name is Sackett. We're playing Dingbats and Dragons, and today, the first thing I want to do is see if we can make some progress on our base. I've been filling in some walls here and there, and what I want to do is first look into Macaw's windows. We have these, uh, we have a couple different variety of thing here, right? We're gonna have to make, we're gonna have to make some glass. Alright, that'll be a good start. So, we'll make a bunch of these, and a bunch more. We're gonna throw them right back in, because we're gonna need some half pane. We'll do, let's say 24. That will allow us to make 24 of the four pane base because we're going to want the strip spruce log I guess we can use. That's great. 24 of the four pane and then as many of the rest of us we can of these resizables. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put these four panes right on the top here and then we're gonna fill in with these resizables which will turn into a nice mo whoops you can place these any direction which is great um, there we go <laughs> it can be a little hard for me to do but uh, you, you can get this nice effect and we're just going to do that on the first floor here. Now the next thing I want to do is to find some walls in here. Whoops. We're not going to want to go too wild. We're going to want to keep it feeling kind of open down here. But we are going to want to separate these off. have to think about this one. This one though should be relatively easy. Let's see what we have for vertical. Okay, I installed framed box. That's uh, <laughs> That's what we want. Um we're going to start by teaching this thing how to make cubes. And then I believe vertical slabs are just, oh, another one there, just as simple as like so, no. How are they done? Panels. Oh, okay. There we go. Now we're going to use domum as much as possible. So we can kind of frame out like so. And so, and then we'll put our framed panels down, and then you just right click with whatever block you want them to take the texture of. They're pretty nice. I was thinking of this as a dining room, but with uh, the smaller profile on the entrance here, it may become something else. I don't know, we'll see. Now it's time to think about a couple of doors. And I think stuff like this. Let's see what else it'll do. Okay, that's fine. Ah, that's a possibility. I'm gonna go with these. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, okay. Very nice. Okay, we have a little bit of a rudimentary first floor. We're going to start putting things in it. We're going to start with cooking for blockheads, which starts, as always, with cooking a book. And then you take that book and you craft it into the next tier book 
We're going to need two crafting tables. We're going to need probably some more planks. <laughs> and we'll make another crafting table. Here we go. Now the second tier book will allow you to craft any one-step food recipe with ingredients in your inventory. The cooking table takes that concept and turns it into a multi-block. We put the floor down for the multi-block kitchen earlier. You don't need the floor, but it helps if you're going to have stuff that's not necessarily all touching each other. Um, but now we've got the uh, the cooking table. This is this is the heart of it. I think we're going to put it down right there. Now, anything else in the mod that connects to the cooking table or the floor, which is all connected to the cooking table, will uh, will be will be part of the fun. Now we're going to want this stuff to match our nice red kitchen, so we're going to dye it all red. A lot of the things that you make are really just inventories. Uh, the cabinets, as long as they're connected, they're fine. We're going to connect the cabinets with uh, these tool racks. That'll be cool. What else should we have? Ah, refrigerators. Now these do have some, some special qualities, which we may take advantage of. We also have an oven. So let's go ahead, hey, all right, <laughs> let's go ahead and make some black dye with blackberries, because that's awesome. We'll need some black glass. Now the one thing that's uh, going to be very useful to us in this pack from this mod, and isn't just for show, hello, is the kitchen sink. We will need a little water. The kitchen sink is a slow but steady infinite water source. It'll provide water to the uh, to the multi-block, which is nice, but it's it's the, the main thing that it has going for it is that it is an infinite water source. You can pipe right out of it. So even just with uh, with the steak, we could make all of this different stuff. Um, we could also have it up here in this inventory, which connects via the tool racks and the spice racks down to the cooking table. We still have it all available. Now for the other room, we're gonna we're gonna do all kinds of things with that. Um, I want to check out this. Let's do bakery. All right. Do we do we have the oven? We do. Very good. What do we have? from this mod. Do we have a cook pot? We have a cook pot. We've got a ton of strawberries. Uh, I would like, um, we're, we're just going to go through this stuff one by one and see what we can figure out. We can make some sugar. All right. Now I don't know if we're going to need coal to run the oven. Let's see if we can figure this out. All right, we'll, uh, we'll run along the wall here. Okay, so it's it just does. That's awesome. Now we just right click. We shift right click. We shift right click. Okay, and this has a GUI. Well, we put the strawberry and the sugar in there. And I bet we're going to need these jars. All right, let's see here. Put the, the jar, we put the jar in here. Okay, yeah. If we shift click, the jar just goes in there. You got to place those in there manually. So let's see how this works. It's a little slow, but that's, oh, there's, uh, there's recipe book entries for this stuff, huh? That's interesting. Or, well, at least there's... Okay. We know we can do strawberry jam. <laughs> now, are these going to stack? Can we set it and forget it? It looks like we probably can. Now, let's see what else we have here. We got uh, 
Well, we probably have the caking station. We'll figure all that out. Let's see what this wall display is. Let's make two of them. Are they like shelves? They don't have a GUI. What do we do? Just click them up there? Apparently not with these. We can put them on our spice racks though. Nice. Let's try some of the food from the mod. No? Uh, I don't know what it's for. Alright. So, we do have a caking station. So let's see. Craft and place a caking station. Let's look at the advancements and see if that'll tell us anything. We got welcome to bakery. This must be it. Okay. Craft and place a caking station. Craft and collect all bakery goods. Cakes. Cupcakes. Well, let's see. What kind of cakes do we have? We have a strawberry cake. We'd need strawberry jam and cake dough. Cake dough. Okay, a crafting bowl. We'll need something for that, I think. All right, this is how we make a crafting bowl. Take it upstairs. And we got this brick counter from the mod that we'll use. Now what do we do? Put the bowl on. Okay, so this is something that we do in the world. Here's our dough. What's it gonna want? It's gonna want milk, sugar, some kind of grain, and an egg. Now let's see what happens here. Milk, egg, wheat, sugar. Let's spin it around and we got our bucket back and the cake dough. I, I heard it go. Okay, it's in here. We take it out. Okay. And then strawberry jam. Nope. <laughs> Strawberry jam. That's a blank cake. But place it on top. Alright, we'll have to make some more dough. Place cake. Okay, on top of the caking station. So we want to put it like right here on the. Now, <laughs> place cake dough on top of the caking station. What am I? What am I doing wrong here? Place cake dough. Hmm. Oh, you just right click. You right click with uh, with the jelly. I had it backwards. Okay. And now we can pick it up and not put it in the display. Can we eat this? Okay, we shift right click to eat it. We can make a knife and cut it up, I think. Let's see here. One bread knife. And then what do we do? Right click? Yep. Four slices of strawberry cake. Nothing goes in there. <laughs> We're gonna hang on to one of those and eat it next. Awesome. Now in addition to the item drawers that functional storage adds, it also adds fluid drawers, right? We're gonna actually do this with spruce. Alright, very nice. We are going to craft ourselves up another sink, just like so. And then over here, we're going to start setting up 
some uh, some fluid stuff for our refined storage system. We'll need to whoops. We'll need to set this pipe to extract. Very nice. Now if we're gonna want to work with uh, with fluids. We're gonna want a fluid grid so we can see it. Now I've gone ahead. I don't think we have the juice to make that yet, but uh, we certainly can teach this thing how to make an external storage just like we did with the storage drawers. I'll throw that in there, craft it up. Now we're going to pop this right on the bottom here. Uh, we're going to run it. Let's see, there we go. See if we can run it right into that crafter. Not yet. There's one more thing we have to do. We have to set this from items to fluids. Right? Yeah, okay. Now it knows there's 32 buckets worth of water in there. I'm going to go ahead and throw one of these upgrades on. Now, to really work with stuff, we will need a uh, fluid storage disk and we'll need to make a 64k storage part that'll hold 64 buckets and then uh, well we can just make the casing for it right here we go we'll make the 64 and we'll make a casing Nice. Now eventually, oh, we don't we don't have a we don't have any ports in rich iron. There we go. Eventually, we'll want a separate disk drive for our fluid storage because the 64k is 64 buckets worth. This is 20,000 items, but it thinks you know 84k. You know, it's it's, it's fine, but we'll want two disk drives. One thing that we're going to want to make is, now that we have some water in the system, is an alchemical imbuer. What do we have here? A machine frame, constantin gears, brewing stand, no big whoop. All right. The alchemical imbuer, as you can probably guess, uh, this, this, is, this is a potion brewing mechanic. We're going to go ahead and get it set up here. Now we're gonna want to teach it how to make uh, how to make awkward potions first of all, and we can come in here and get at it. And sometimes it's a little weird. Just another wart and water will get us a bucket's worth of awkward potion, and then we're gonna teach it how to make a potion of regeneration with the awkward potion. Very whoop up here. Now, we're going to need to bottle that, and if we're going to, we're going to need a, few, a fluid encapsulator. This is familiar stuff, copper gear, machine frame, little glass. All right, there's our fluid encapsulator. We're just going to make the parts to hook it up into the system. Now, we will get four um, potions worth her gas tier using this setup. So we only really need four gas, or we have plenty. We need to make 15 potions of regeneration. And this is going to do it for us. Pours another ward in there. It's not super fast without, uh, without integral components, for one thing. Um, let's go ahead. And we'll make some hardened for these guys. Shouldn't take long. There's one. Let's just throw it in here. Yeah, that's better. Now we do have to set the importer to fluids. Let's see, is it? Yeah, okay, it's out. Okay, it's, it's making all the awkward potions first. Then it's going to make the... Uh, 
the regen. And we can see it. Well, we could see it over here if it wasn't uh, if it wasn't literally in use by the system. But it'll all pour in here with the gas tears as soon as this is finished here. Come on. We gotta make some time in the bottle. We have everything we need to make it. There we go. And then once it's made the regen potion, it's gonna throw a bottle and the regen potion in there and we'll be styling. Some of the liquid crafting that we're gonna wanna do is gonna have to be done in a block called a sequential fabricator. Now these are a little expensive. Um, they, in, in the sense that they, it's it's one block per per recipe. Um, so you know, keep that in mind. We're gonna have to let's do spruce again. Oh, we are one block short on space. Ah. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, we've only got five and a half. We need six to double up. All right. That's okay. We'll just put our sequential fabricator over here for now. And it'll be just fine. We'll get a crafter in there. And a porter. Now the point of the exercise for the time being I want to be able to make dough, and to do that, we'll need to be able to make yeast. Now, this is going to be a processing recipe. What we're going to need is a bucket of water, for one thing. Grab it right out of the sink. We're going to need a bucket of water. And what is it, yeast? Yeah. This is probably gonna be our bread mechanic. Um, okay, so first things first, we have to make this stuff. And what are we missing? We're missing a sugar. Let's teach this thing how to make sugar. Very easy. We'll throw it in. And then let's actually make some. All right. Now we can make the yeast. Yeast of your worries. Don't know, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> We're going to need another. Another bucket of water. We're going to need another sugar. We should have one. All right. We got the sugar. We got our mushroom. There we go. And then we're going to want to put a check mark on fluid so that it knows it's a bucket's worth of water. And all of that's going to make 12 yeast. There's our pattern. We're going to put it right up here. Now we will also need to set it over here. So we're going to need a mushroom, we're going to need another sugar, and a bucket of water. And what we do is we just manually put the stuff in, recognizes the output, we press the check mark and that locks it. Now we could just fill this inventory with this stuff and it will do it, but since we have our, uh, our automatic system, we're going to use our automatic system. Let's make, well, let's see what happens if we try to make a stack. It'll actually try to make 72, but it'll throw everything in here. You see the solid objects 
down in the uh, in the inventory and the water in the tank. Now this yeast we're gonna want to be using to make dough, which we could also make in an oven. Okay, so we can make crusty bread, chocolate tart, croissants, bunt cake, baguettes. That's pretty cool. Extreme close up. No. Um, <laughs> I had my, I, I'm really bad at using my keyboard um, and I always hold it. I, I always hit the buttons wrong. So I ended up with like my face in my face as we were recording the outro, which this is. Um, I went, I fussed around with kitchens a lot longer than I realized. So we're gonna call it here and we'll be back in the next episode. Thanks for watching.